Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Design Tech. And in today's episode, we are going to be digging more into bees a bit. Last episode, we kind of talked about where I'd been forever, and we went around and gathered a whole bunch of beehives. I could still use a few more. Uh, we made the apiarist's backpack uh, last episode. That looks like another beehive to me. Hi. Let's take those. Um... Oh, also, when you have the apiaris backpack and you pick up a beehive, or you break a beehive, uh, the bees just automatically go in there, which is super cool. Um, but I think in today's episode, we should probably get into making bee stuff. So one of the first things that I want to make and kind of need to make is the beealyzer, which basically analyzes bees and tells me the things that I need to know about them. However... It gets made in a carpenter, which is a machine that I'm pretty sure I don't have. Uh, yeah, didn't think so. Okay, so let's go ahead and make ourselves a carpenter. I need a sturdy casing and a carpenter. There we go. And then I think I also need a squeezer. Uh, so I'm going to need one of those as well. There we go. And then I should have... I'm going to need basically a battery. So I suppose I could use a... Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, an energy cell? What have I got for energy cells? Those should work. That should do the trick, I think. Do I have any flux duct? Uh, I've got a handful. That should be enough, I think. Uh, they're relatively low energy usage machines, so I think it will be fine. Um, now, to make the Bealyzer, I'm also going to need some water. And then I'll need this stuff. Tin, diamond, redstone, glass panes. So let's grab a couple of tin ingots let's grab some redstone grab a diamond and what was it glass panes i think and that should do and then as far as water goes um i suppose i could just use a water bucket to fill up the thing i think think. Right, oh, how much water do I need? 2,000? Yeah, I need two, two buckets of water, so that's not too bad, actually. Um, I could set up, if this was going to be something I was going to mass produce, I would set up something a little bit more um, infinite, shall we say, but since I'm just kind of making this one thing, I'm not too worried about it. So we'll do this here. We'll put that here, output to there. So this thing should have power now. And then we'll just put some water in it. So it should have 2,000 millibuckets of water, glass panes, diamond, redstone, tin. Put that stuff in. And you can see it is making a bealyzer. And the bealyzer will allow me to analyze bees. So that's going to be super, super useful. Um, Let's just wait for that to be done. Almost there. And then we can get into some of this other kind of stuff, because basically all the bees have specific, um, like, requirements for where they will grow and how they work and all that kind of stuff. So uh, we need to make sure that we're following those. Now, if I right-click on the Bealyzer, I'm also going to need either honey or honeydew. Hopefully I didn't just break the recording. I hit F1, or I hit F11, and went out of full screen. That was an accident. Uh, let's see. So anyway, we will need honey or honeydew, or uh, let's see. So honey drops, I make in a centrifuge. Honeydew, created honeydew, also in a centrifuge. So I'm going to need a centrifuge. So centrifuge. Once again, pretty easy to make. Good. 
Let's go and make ourselves one of those. Should have everything we need for it in our ME system over here. Let's just put, let's just put most of this stuff away. I'm not gonna need it anymore. Here we go. So send, oh, if I could type, there we go. Centrifuge, I will need one more sturdy casing. And there we go, got it, okay. So, now the centrifuge requires honey. So I'm gonna need, ooh, I don't have nearly as much honeycomb as I thought I did. Hmm. Maybe what I should do, I do have a couple of apiaries here and I could grab a couple flowers. Do I have bees in here? I do have a handful. Let's grab those guys. And let's put all of those into our backpack as well. There we go. Let's see, we've got Forest Princess and Forest Drones. So I think... Wait, did I see a queen? Oh, I've actually got a Forest Queen in here already. Okay. Cool. So what we'll do is I'm just going to plop my apiaries over here for the minute. And I'll just put that guy here. And we'll grab out our forest queen. And I'll put a forest queen in here. Oh, too cold. Okay. Uh, so this is really not the best place to do those. Uh... Let's find somewhere a little bit better. So probably because I'm in an extreme hills biome would be my guess. Uh, let's try this forest. There's like a birchwood forest thing over here. Because it's environment, it's environment based, essentially. So I think if I come like over here, now we're in a birch forest. Yeah, that should work. So let's just put our apiaries down right here instead put a forest and now yeah there we go and we got bees flying around you can kind of see them a little bit uh so when this thing when this bar goes all the way down eventually what's going to happen is it's going to produce um more bees and i think it'll produce some honeycomb as well i'm not entirely sure uh, but here we'll grab a forest drone and a forest princess and put those in there. Those guys should breed up and make another forest queen like so. Beautiful. So now those bees should be working their way towards making me more bees. I'm, I thought they made honeycomb like this, but I might be wrong. I'm not entirely sure. But you can see they are doing things, which is good. Um, I'm also not sure if increasing the number of flowers makes any difference. I don't think it does. Uh, normal, normal. Bees need flowers, owner, yeah, okay. Anyway, so I'm gonna let these do their thing for a while, then I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. So we've got some bees in here, which is good. Um, it's becoming obvious to me that I'm going to need a lot more casings, <laughs> or a lot more apiaries, I should say. So I think we should probably make some of those, and I haven't actually gotten any honeycomb from breeding these things yet, so... I don't know if that's possible. I think it is, uh, but maybe, I mean, I've only bred those a couple of times, so um, it might be something where it, it takes a little while. It's, you know, a, a small chance or something like that. I don't know. But I think what we should probably do is make ourselves a bunch more apiaries. Now, to do that, there's a couple ways we can... Um, and let's just grab, there we go. I'll need my wireless terminal. We're gonna need a squeezer. And then we will need the carpenter as well, which is right here. 
and let's just make a bunch. So, um, I think since we've got the wireless uh, thingy over here, I think these should automatically get power. No. Okay, so I'm going to have to hook them up to something. That's fine. Okay. So let's go and... Where do I want to put this? Um... Maybe just like right here? We'll just put it... Yeah. Let's just put it right here for now. So we'll put our squeezer right here. And we'll put our carpenter right here. And then... We need a... Fluid conduit to go right here. Change that to insert. Change this to extract always. And then basically we just need to provide these things power. Do I have any power lines running back here? Um, I've got one up here. I hate to use a full ender energy conduit though. Um... Let's just see... Energy... I've got a bunch of those. I suppose... Yeah, you know what? We'll just use these. Whatever, it's fine. So we'll run this down... And across like so. That'll... Hook these guys. Oh, there we go. Probably would help if I had the full thing connected. There we go, so now they've got power. Okay, and then let's just put that back. And I also want a conduit facade with, do I not have one? I don't, doesn't look like I already have one made with concrete. Can I use this right here? If I go like this? Nope, only works for cables. Too bad. Okay. Um, block painter. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it right now. This is fine for now. Okay, so let's grab a bunch of seeds, and I'm going to put uh, one, two, three, four. Do, 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 do. That would be six, seven, eight. There we go. So we're going to put nine stacks of seeds in here, and basically that's going to create seed oil. Each, each one of these is going to create a little bit of seed oil. And we're going to use those to make the apiaries. Because the apiaries need these impregnated casings. And those are made using 250, seed oil, uh, 250 millibuckets of seed oil and a whole bunch of logs. Now, this thing is relatively slow. I wonder, is there an upgrade? Um, at forestry there we go let's just see is there any sort of way to increase the speed of that bad boy habitat locator capsules I'm gonna need to make those frames as well stamps letters don't see any sort of upgrade, so it looks like we'll just have to let this do its thing. That's going to take a little while. Okay, let's grab some logs, and we'll do that. And I'll just put some logs in there, and this will hopefully create uh, a few of these impregnated casings for us. We're just going to have to kind of let it run for a while. Although the forestry machines, I think they actually do kind of speed up like as they like they take a little while to to warm up and then they start going faster or something like that i'm not sure um but either way we'll let this thing go for a while i'll make a few more apiaries and then i'll come back to you all right guys i am back so i tweaked this setup a little bit we've got uh three squeezers now feeding into one carpenter uh you can see and that's just greatly increasing the rate. Three times as fast, we're getting seed oil. So it's actually coming in at a reasonably decent rate now. Uh, and we're getting a bunch of these impregnated casings. Um, so let's go ahead and turn those into apiaries. And I think we'll put those over here. We'll, uh, I should have everything in here already. So I think we've got everything we need. Yeah, 10 apiaries 
plus the two that I've got. That should be a decent amount now, uh, and I should be good. So let's go ahead and grab some flowers. And then I think I'm going to need... Actually, I've already got the centrifuge, so I, sh I should be okay. I don't think I'll need to make another uh, squeezer for the time being. Because the squeezer is needed for seed oil. Um, but I'm producing a lot of seed oil. And I, I can continue producing these and making um, more of these impregnated casings. I should probably double check real quick. Those casings... Uh, these guys. What else do they get used for? They do get used for making alviaries, panel workers, wood workers, and glass workers. So I'm probably not going to need that many of them. I mean, like, I'm making just a ridiculous amount. Eh, you know what? Whatever. It's it's fine. I, I guess um, I can... I'm, I'm not going to worry about it too much. So... We've got that going. Now, I think what I'm going to do is grab an energy cell here. And over here was our little forest that we were working in. That'll give me plenty of room to lay down apiaries and breed bees and stuff like that. And then we're going to have to kind of play around with a couple of things. So let's go... Let's just kind of clear some of this stuff out of the way because uh, it's not needed and it's just kind of in the way right now and we'll go let's see one two three four five six um seven eight nine ten eleven twelve that should be plenty of these guys and then We'll just put a bunch of flowers in so that all of these have flowers nearby. Okay, fantastic. Now, uh, this is going to go... All of that stuff can go away. Let's get our energy cell right here. We'll have it output to the top. Put our centrifuge right on top of it. That should power up real quick. And then let's just grab some of these combs. We've got a bunch of these honeycombs here. And we'll put those in there. Because uh, we can use those in our Bealizer to figure out uh, the stats, if you will, of some of the bees that we've got. Um, I'm just going to focus on forest and meadow bees for now. Let's grab these honey drops here. And let's start with our princesses. So, there we go. And it looks like we've got... Okay. Possible produce that. Okay. And it doesn't look like it tells us anything beyond that. I thought... Hmm. I thought this thing told us, like, what... If I put it back in here? Hmm. Doesn't really say. Okay, well, let's try... Let's try a different princess, maybe? Oh, actually... Oh, here's, here's all my pristines. Okay, there we go. Let's try one of these pristines. Put that in here. Three generations in captivity. Shorter life, slowest worker. That doesn't sound good. And then let's do a forest drone and a honey drop there. And shorter life, slowest worker. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking that maybe these guys can't produce honey. I'm not really sure. Um, if we do that and this, let's just get all of these guys producing stuff. <laughs> we'll just breed as many of these as we possibly can. Uh, that one's good. 
There's a drone. That one's good. There we go. I'm just creating as many of these as we can. There we go. So these are all good. Now, Meadow, I'm not really sure. I think we should probably examine a Meadow as well. Because I'm not really sure flower type flowers, it just says. Okay. Fertility 2. Let's try one of the... Ignoble... I'm, I think pristine is better than ignoble. Like, I'm pretty sure. Pristine, pristine. Let's try this guy. Shorter, shorter, slowest. Yeah, okay. So then let's just breed some meadows as well. Oh, wait. Here we go. Is there one in here at the moment? Yes, there is. Okay, so let's just grab out our meadows drones. And I've got, what, five? I need five. So we've got a meadows queen already. Meadows princess. Do I have another pristine Meadows Princess? Yes, good. Okay, so, Queen. And we'll just... Oh. Oh, yeah, you don't need eight drones. You don't, yeah, that's, that's a bit much. Although, actually, you know what, maybe... We're gonna do an experiment. Because I think maybe... Maybe the reason that these ones weren't producing stuff was because they need drones in here. So, like, here we've got a pristine. If I put nine drones in, we're going to see if that produces any honeycomb for us. Let's just kind of put those in here. And we'll just see... We'll just see what happens. I don't know if these drones will die, or if they'll live, or what's going on. But we're gonna kind of experiment and find out. I probably shouldn't put all of my drones in there, though. Let's just take a couple out. Um... Yeah, let's do this. Let's put all of our drones... ...into here. And we'll just let the- we'll just let this one alone try and do its thing. <laughs> we'll see if that make, does any good, or uh, if it changes anything, or if we get some honeycomb, or any of that kind of stuff, because I'm going to need a lot of honey to analyze all these bees, and the only honeycomb that I have is the stuff that I've found from actually going out and finding beehives and breaking them with the scoop, and that's pretty tedious to do it that way. So, I'm going to let this thing go, and... Uh, we will see if this changes anything, but I think I'm going to do that between episodes, guys, because I am out of time for this one. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.